Hi guys, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some work on the cube here today. Now I've already kind of started doing this a little bit but I thought before I did any more I'd do a little bit of video on it. So what we're going to do is I acquired this, uh, it's a NVIDIA G4 6200 256 megabyte DDR2 AGP card and this is really out of a PC but it has been flashed with the Apple firmware so that way you get the Apple boot up screen and the company that I bought this from this is actually new old stock and they ask you what machine it's going to go in they will flash it for you now the thing is is this has two VGA ports. Uh, this one here has an adapter on it. This DVI port uh, it has a, a 45 degree angle on it which I don't have it on right now and that's VGA. This is also VGA which is disconnected because it gets in the way of plugging in things and and that's fine but I'm still going to modify this plate and the reason being is that when this card is in there and it's a huge card compared to the old one it's a lot skinnier but it's a little bit longer uh, this isn't quite straight yet and the reason being is we have to take and this back plate which is off the original 128 rage card uh, we have to modify it and I'm going to take a dremel and I'm going to dremel this back plate further over so that way this card will fit squarely in there and the other thing too is uh, I'm going to fix it to where uh, I can anchor it through this uh, hole so that way it won't have ever come unplugged when you're wiggling the uh, VGA port on it so that's what we're going to do be back in a moment So this is what the card looks like and again this is the NVIDIA G4 6200 256 megabyte DDR2 AGP card and this would also fit in the older towers like the graphite or the digital audio tower on the Max. Anyway the this has three ports on it so on the PC version you have your DVI port you have your S video and then you have a, a VGA port which that's what that ribbon cable is that's an extra port but when you have it in the cube and when you have it flashed at least uh, the, the type of flashing that they did uh, this one you don't get the DVI out of it like you would normally uh, it's uh, basically a VGA which is fine and then you have another VGA port and hopefully once I finish modifying that back plate I'll be able to put that in there too that'd be good and then um, I'm going to expose this S video I don't believe it's supported on the cube but maybe one of these days we'll try it but I just do the VGA anyway that's plenty I crank the resolution up as high as I can get it on that monitor so that's what we're going to do this is what it looks like and This was the original backplate off of that card. I've been hacking on it and I've cut the, because uh, this went into a, the uh, tower part of it because it had a little tab on it and it was much wider. But you can see it has the, uh, the DVI, VGA, and the S video. Now, what you have to do on the cube, this is the original backplate. This was off the 128 Rage card. Now the issue is because this card is longer and the and the ports are a little bit different on it we have to really whittle this out as far as we can get it so we can get that card over as far as we can get it. Now what I can do is I'll take my Dremel I'm going to Dremel that out a little bit more that'll give me a little more room to get that over there and then uh, we might even be able to get that other VGA 
uh, cable on there. That would be nice. That or a port on there. That'd be great if we could do that. But if not, no big deal. And then what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to uh, just uh, blow that all out of there. And that way that S video port will be exposed to. And the two screws do go into the cube that secure the plate, but nothing goes into that card actually to hold it other than in the socket. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize one of these here and make like a little bracket that will actually attach to the very edge of the board and that will secure it so it cannot get jarred out of place. Now the other issue I'm having with the cube also is the Sonnet 1.6 gigahertz upgrade card for this requires a firmware update. I have not been able to get the ROM updated on this thing. It refuses to update it. And I've tried everything. I've tried a conventional hard drive. I tried it with Tiger. I've tried it with Leopard. There's two different ones. Uh, one 3.1 on the Sonnet uh, driver update. And then if you run Tiger, 3.2 if you run Leopard. It will not load it. It takes like about two minutes and it says uh, uh, error could not update firmware. So somebody said, well, take and put the original 120 Rage card back in it because that could be what's hanging it up. And I got to thinking, well, that could be because I even took the PRAM battery out of it. I did a PRAM reset. Uh, I did it without the battery in it and then reset the power management switch on it. Left it unplugged for a couple days. Try to do that again, but it will not take that firmware. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put the original 128 Rage card back in it. And, uh, and that's what the 128 Rage looks like for anybody that wants to know if it's never seen it before. And you can see the comparison on this thing. See, here's the fancy one we're going to put in it here. And this is the original, and this is much wider. This one here, I just have to loosen a couple of screws, and I can slide it right out. This one here, you notice you see the three little tabs on the board there. And then here, you have this extra one. So, because this is from a PC, I guess they don't need that. I don't exactly know what that tab goes to, but you don't have it on that one. So that's kind of nice, and the board, as you can see, is much narrower. Look at that. But this thing has got a heck of a lot more memory. This has only got like 16 mega video on it. I do have, and then for the longest time, I had that GX. Uh, it was a upgrade board for the Cube that Apple, there was like three different ones they would offer. And this, we have the GTX in it, and it's 32 megabyte, which from this, that was quite a, an upgrade too. But I'll tell you what guys, running this card, the video graphics are awesome on this thing. I mean, it, it just loads so much faster. And of course, when we get that processor upgraded, uh, we're gonna really be screaming with this thing. So that's what we're gonna do though. I have to put that Rage card back in it and wait a half hour for it to load. Uh, <laughs> not really that long. But anyway, yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grind that uh, plate down a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're gonna grind this a little bit here, and um, we're going to see right in there, and that's how it's gonna look right there. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna try to do this, but I might do some of it off camera. It's just gonna be too hard to do this. So we uh, ground that plate down some more, and now that's over where it should be. 
and the board is nice and straight now so it looks really good and I'll show you here and you can see the um, board here is nice and straight now it used to be at an angle because it, that opening wasn't quite deep enough so I ground it out I put it back in now what I also did is I I made a little bracket here so actually this board here it can't come out see if I do this here it's pretty solid and uh, before if I hadn't done that I could actually just uh, lodge it from the socket there but yeah that's in there good now the thing is is there's just not enough room uh, with this bracket this back plate to put this in there correctly if you were to take and not put that back plate in there then yes you could have that in there but it's going to be kind of floppy so you have to make some kind of other bracket so I'm fine with this port here this DVI port that which really is a VGA port because of the flashing of it and that'll be just fine and like I said the um, S video I don't have any use for that so I didn't bother blowing that out it's still there if I ever wanted to do that I would just literally cut that little section out there and I'd have access to it but really that's all I need right now I mean later on down the road if I want to do something different I will but like I said I used the original back plate off of the ATI Rage card and just basically just egged it out now I did not modify the outside of the cube at all okay this is all original it's just this uh, plate here is what I modified and looks pretty good and it's not going to come out it's in there nice and safe I'll show you the little bracket that I made here I mean I don't have the top on it here because I'm, I'm going to pull this card out because like I said I'm going to put the original rage card back in here and try to flash the firmware on this thing but if I hold it up here let's see right right there that's the bracket that I made right there that goes on the card and that actually goes on the back plate where the original rage card used to attach just made it out of copper and uh, yeah it works good it ain't gonna come out of there if I need to take it out all I do is loosen that little nut there and I actually slotted that okay guys so that's gonna be it for working on the cube for today and like I said I'm glad we got that uh, bracket modified so that holds that card in very securely and anyway you guys have a great weekend give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it if you like this video also please subscribe click the bell and I'll see you in the next video bye